So I've already uh, pulled the wheel off, and right here behind me, I'm doing some upgrades to Saturday 850, guys. Uh, so come over here real quick. I'm gonna show you a couple upgrades that I ordered myself, and a couple upgrades that a uh, high lifter sent me, guys. Huge shout out to High Lifter for being one of my biggest supporters. I'm over here, you already know, I'm over here at CPP ATV Repair here in Henderson, Tennessee. Y'all come along, watch the show. So here's the old, and here's the new. These are the new, never before seen, six inch dual idler portals from High Lifter. Some awesome upgrades I already see is the drain plug being on the top here and the drain plug. I believe there's a drain plug on the bottom and there's a drain plug right there. So uh, that is awesome, awesome. And look at how easy these things turn. Super, super easy. So, uh, and another huge upgrade I see, this is a 46 where the competitors are a lot smaller. So. Uh, we're gonna be putting these on the next two days. Today is just me, Anthony just left. I'm gonna be doing disassemble tonight. I'm gonna to bring y'all along on the disassembly. Hope y'all enjoy. Right here, I'm gonna be disassembling my, uh, I already took the brakes off, of course. Uh, brake pads still look good. Armor Tech brake pads over here at CPP. Uh, nothing but the best. Also won a bounty hole in reverse not too long ago. And uh, so I want some brass brake, brake pads and I want to give those a shot. We're going to bust this off here real quick. I'll check back with y'all in a second. So I want some brass brake, brake pads. And I want to give those a shot. We're going to bust this off here real quick. I'll check back with y'all in a second. There's that. Oh, it come off pretty easy. That's what anti-seize will do for you folks. Put a little bit of anti-seize on your bolts or on your uh, axles. Wait, this is essentially an axle shaft. Put a little bit of anti-seize on there and it goes a long way. See how it just slid off there? I thought I was gonna have to press it off with the pry bar, but I didn't. And guys, uh, a lot of y'all have been asking about these custom wheel lights. I'm gonna show y'all those as well real quick. There are the Infinite Off-Road 18 inch quad row uh, from Infinite Off-Road and uh, CPP custom brackets. And as y'all can see, they're still holding up, they still work. I just unplugged them because I'm about to remove uh, this portal and they're gonna come off with the portal. Got the old portal plates off, old portals off. Right there. Putting the new in. All right, guys, I, we were so eager to get the new high lifter six inch dual idlers put on. Um, so as soon as we busted that one off, we started to put the new one on. Sorry, I didn't pick up the camera. I just got excited, uh, but it came with all new bolts. So I was excited about that. Uh, kind of curious about uh, how this is gonna work with the tie rod. We're gonna figure it out though. Um, these are the first set of six inch dual idler High lifter pulls to ever go on a sportsman so y'all see it y'all are seeing it here first for the first time ever six inch dual idlers going on a sportsman so here's what come off the six inch single 
uh, 45% from Super ATV, upgrading to the high lifter six inch dual live loader. Huge shout out to them for hooking me up with the new, the newest portal on the market. They look awesome. Super excited guys, super excited. Like sick freaking logo right there. I'm gonna do the rear tomorrow. I'm gonna do the, so we install the new Bronco rear shocks on there, as you can see. Right there. Haven't put the rear portals on. About to put the front portal on, me and Thomas over here. Late night as usual. It's about midnight over here in Tennessee. We are T minus less than a week from Muddy Bottom, so uh, gotta get this project done. Got a couple bling bling in here, you know. Primary right there. Secondary over here. Uh, secondary STM and primary CV Tech. So uh, we're about to be ripping, boys. The front two portals put on. Got to put the hubs on. Uh, make some adjustments and put the rear ones on. Got the rear Bronco shocks on. Uh, yeah, got to replace the front shocks too as well. I'm gonna get those powder coated at a later date and uh, Seats looking amazing So uh, a couple more upgrades to go in this video and we'll uh, we'll have her tied together gonna finish this up tomorrow night though What do you say Thomas? I feel like I've been about a, every salad video there is just about Just about The man the myth the legend Thomas Mitchell. See So right here, the night ATV upgrade right here. Right off, uh, you can order these on my website. I'll have them linked below. Come in some very, very nice packaging. Full wiring harness, zip ties and all. I'm pretty sure they came for zip ties, did it not? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to video it. Me and Anthony were in there talking. And uh, so it basically ties into your factory wiring harness, correct? Yeah. And then it plugs off. So basically, all you do is this is so you don't get the water and mud. It doesn't ruin the factory harness, right? That and so you don't get a code for forward drive. Right. So that's and your code crosses, reader. Crosses yep. Okay. The and then here is your four-wheel drive, your new wiring harness, and it comes all pre-wired, and it plugs right into your diff. Sends 12 volts to your diff, and then you uh, got a relay. fancy relay up here, and a positive and a negative with a 12 volt uh fuse so that goes to the battery this goes to the new switch and this is key 12 volt okay uh, super excited to use this new switch we'll never have to run a bounty hole in reverse even again. if it says it's in neutral you'll have four wheel drives yep that is correct well, exactly what thomas just said if my screen will focus up there we go all right guys we're gonna get back to putting this together uh we'll pick y'all back up here shortly Quick little update here. Mr. Thomas. Then got the back ones put on. Got the new chrome or new shiny objects in there. Thomas is over here putting together the hubs. So there are a little bit different style than the... I was sitting there pausing. So they come with, so Highlifter uh, provides these little spacers in there. And they go right there, right there, there, and right here. So uh, those go right there, and then your uh, disc, your brake rotor goes on top. So uh, pretty self-explanatory there. They bolt in just like he was doing there, and the hub slides right on. And then you've got a brand new hub. So it's a brand new hub as well and disc. And I'll show y'all here in a second how innovative these uh, these holes are. They're not just for no reason. We'll go There's check it out. One here and there. All right, so what we were talking about earlier is the clearance. I mean, I know it's not a huge deal, but it's just pretty cool. And then if you spin it a little bit more, bam. And then you spin it some right here, bam. Like, uh, and then, you know, this is just 
super innovative stuff right here, guys. And, and another one. And you can get to the other one right there. So uh, pretty cool. High Lifter definitely put a lot of thought into these uh, new portals, guys. And I can't stress this enough. These things are next to none. Uh, so these are one of one. These aren't in production yet. Um, they're not on the website. They're not available just yet. But I promise you, they're coming. So hopefully by the time I've dropped this video, they've already released them. And we're going to be doing some strenuous testing on them next weekend at Muddy Bombs. I'm hitting the bounty holes, so uh, uh, y'all get to see that as well. So y'all enjoy. We're going to do some more work, and I'll pick y'all back up as we're doing work. All right, guys, so this is how you know it means business. This is a three-quarter drive, 46-millimeter socket. So we're about to tighten up the axle nut, but I guess it's called a hub bolt or a hub nut. I don't know, because your axle nut's up here, so I guess you just call that a hub nut. So, castle nut is what it is. Can't wait to see what these six inch door lighters are gonna do, guys. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome time at Muddy Bottoms. Can't wait to test all these new products. And I'll see y'all there. All right, guys, we got Mr. Robert Mullins dropping off his portaled Rubicon here on 34 fives. We're gonna end up stealing these tires, aren't we, Anthony? Yeah. If he's not careful, off. we I'm might. Try to take them and talk them off of. My, they don't make these anymore. So when I go down to High Lifter next week, I'm gonna try to see if we can find some. If not, uh, might try to talk them into making some more. I got the new shocks put on here. The new High Lifter uh, six inch dual liner portals on the six inch High Lifter lift with the uh, new Bronco shocks. Uh, gonna do some tuning today on it. We are over here at CPP as usual. Uh, Thomas got all the shocks adjusted for me. Yes, I'm running the brake calipers upside down for now uh, until we get that figured out. What we'll to flip those? Uh, KFI winch. Yeah, it was also 1 a.m. when we put the brakes on. So KFI winch is doing great. About to change out the fan. Huge shout out to Jay Thompson for getting me the. Uh, fan over there at I-69, Josh, for sponsoring it. Huge shout out to my people over there at I-69. They are awesome. Sent me a whole fan and shroud to replace uh, the fan that's going out on mine. So huge shout out to Interstate 69, guys. If you need any players OEM parts uh, or you want to buy a machine, go see them. All right, Anthony, what are we doing here today? Right here on the CV Tech primary. We are changing the weights. To 20s to get a baseline for tuning the clutch. And get a little bit more performance out of it, but we have to start somewhere. We're chicken. We're going with 20. Starting with 20, we can work our way down. Or up, depending or up. on what yep. it needs. Right, depends on where it revs out and everything else. About to do some test rips real quick. Anthony's doing some tuning on the clutching over here. Uh, let's see what she'll do today. Explain to me what you're about to be doing here, right here. What what we're doing right now? Uh, we're load testing the clutches. See how they perform to the desired power band or uh, power range. We set this to. The STM secondary and the CV Tech primary. We're gonna give it a quick little rip here. Gonna load her up.
Alright guys, so Aunt, Mr. Anthony over here at CVP is fine tuning the CV Tech to make it what pull a little bit harder. Is that what you want it to do? Yeah, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna increase in the stall. Um, and then I'm changing the shift on the primary. Okay. Um, we're gonna start with it and then see how that does and then move on to tuning the secondary. Cool. Sounds good. Guys, we got Mr. Anthony over here doing some testing and tuning on the clutches. Can you turn the fan on? Doing some wrenching over here, changing out from the blue spring to the green spring. Uh, what spring is this, or deep? Uh, this is the one that it came in. It's going a little lighter. It's the this is right here. Yeah. That's its finishing weight. So this will help it shift out a little bit later? Sooner. Soon. Okay. smoke testing this is why you always smoke test before every big ride is because this stuff right here we just got done taking apart put back together so as you can see the smoke we got a little smoke machine going on up right here and you can see it right there found a leak that's where gonna, they usually leak at anyways yep. even from the factory so I found a leak and we're gonna fix it real quick and we'll be ready for muddy bottoms Super excited, did a couple four wheel drive pulls if y'all have already seen in the video. I uh, hope y'all have enjoyed If uh, If not, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, pretty exciting stuff going on here. We just got the CV Tech primary tuned and the secondary tuned, STM secondary. Well, all right guys, we got Sal 850 put together. Me and Thomas just finished up. Smoke test, we'll smoke test one more time tomorrow. Mostly put together. Mostly put together, yeah. Uh, we got the new high lifter six inch dual idler portals put on guys and let me tell you uh, they, They're super innovative. You can take bolts off Literally if you had to do it through the wheel, which I don't know why you would but uh, you can sit there and spin the uh, disc and get to bolts so it's super innovative and we didn't have time to put the wheel lights on so do what? They're not, they're not yeah, they're not broke. None of the mounts are broke on them. That's not why I'm not running them. We just uh, didn't have time, time crunch. Uh, but man, let me tell you, look at how much higher this thing is sitting up. Well, uh, hopefully y'all can see that. Uh, this thing with the new Bronco shocks, uh, this thing just sits up so much higher. So much higher. Gonna give her a good bath once over, finish up smoke testing it, and we'll be ready to go. Got the new fan in there from I-69 as well. Uh, that worked out perfect. New belt from I-69. Huge shout out to uh, Jay Thompson over there, I-69, and Josh, one of the owners, for hooking me up, always taking care of me. See y'all on the next one.